Oh, those don't go there. Hi, everybody. Well, this is the long-awaited part two video. You remember we installed the LED bar and the plan was to also install new clearance lights all around the truck. Well, the LED bar, let me put it this way. I don't like to rush myself and there was no reason to push and try to get all that done in one day or two days. So here we are, you know, fast forward about 10 days later after the LED bar and now it's time to do the clearance lights. So this truck has a total of four up front amber color and then seven of the red. You got five across the back and then one on each side at the back corner. So yesterday I came out here, it's 90 degrees, it was very hot, but I pushed through and I got all these red ones done. I figured out a way to install them that lets me get them done pretty quickly. See, the problem we had was, and I'll try to put a sketch up here on the screen somewhere. The problem was, not a problem, but the challenge was that the new lights, if you see here how the, the lights come through the body, or I'm sorry, the wires come through the body in the lower corner. And of course, on the truck, the wire comes out in the upper corner area. So if these were protruding up here, it'd be perfect, but they weren't. So I had to come up with a way to wire these, keep the wires hidden uh, and make it secure. And I came up with a way, my daughter actually had the idea and she's, actually, she's on her way over here right now uh, to help put the rest of these up. But in a, in a nutshell, and again, I'll try to get a diagram up here. In a nutshell, the negative wire or the ground wire utilizes a crimp on ring terminal, which goes under one of the, the mounting screws and that grounds it to the aluminum body of the truck. Beautiful. And then the feed wire, the, the positive 12 volt wire, the red wire taps into the existing using one of these solder seal wire connectors. You don't have to, you don't have to solder. Uh, you don't have to use heat shrink because it's all built into these things. I'm becoming a big fan of these and I'm getting good at using them. Uh, I do want to get an air reflector for the end of the gun. They, they show it here in the photo. I don't know if you can pick up on that, but if, if you've used the heat gun, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a curved piece of metal. So it basically, lets the hot air wrap around the backside of whatever you're you're blowing the hot air on so it comes around it so i've had to get by without having one of those but but uh, it's it's worked for me so far so we're going to get these last four amber ones done and i will once i get one of them laid out here i'll give you guys a, an in-depth detailed look at how i figured out how to do these it's very hot today it's only 11 a.m and it's already creeping up on 90 degrees very hot so i want to try to get these done apologize for the sweat but it's going to happen today okay let's get into it okay i've got one of the lights unpackaged oh let me get the radio sorry don't want to get a copyright claim. This is my new uh, little AM FM weather band, solar powered, hand crank powered, battery powered radio from, from my friends over at Sung Life. So this is, this is a radio that they've sent to me uh, to try out. It's, it's pretty intriguing. It actually has a flashlight. It's got a little reading light and AM FM weather band and you can charge it with a little solar panel, which is on top, or you can charge it with a hand crank, which is around the backside. And they sent me a second one to give away to one of you viewers. So stay tuned coming up. So there's gonna be a giveaway end of July into August for this solar powered radio. That's gonna be after we do the giveaway for the Sun Life 
500 watt inverter charger that I've teased about. That's coming up. So stick around for those. Okay, back to the light. So this is one of the lights unwrapped with the cover popped off. So it's a simple uh, board with LEDs on it. You got two wires and okay, the method I figured out that works best, I, I fish these two wires back inside the case and then the, the ground wire, the black one, I run right around here and I put a ring terminal on the end and it goes under the screw head for this mounting screw right here, which grounds it out. Then the, the power line also comes in here and I kind of run it down this way, loop it back in this direction so it's stopped at right about this length here. Then I have the power wire coming from the truck. It comes in and they join up right in here with one of the uh, solderless connectors. So they're all contained under the, under the cover of the light, which is, it's worked out great for me. Okay, let me give you a look at what this looks like installed. So the, here's the ground wire, which just goes around and then uh, attaches to the board. And then the power line, which comes off the board and I kind of looped it that way. And then it goes up and through the new hole that I drilled and then into the truck. And it joins with the existing wire right there with uh, one of those solderless connections okay so that's installed now i just pop the lens cover on fairly flush the the wire that comes out of the truck uh, you can see it here they have a little rubber grommet and so that's because the back of these lights is flat there's no recessed area so that's why you see that it's just kicked a little but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all so i'm going to get this one finished up and then we'll jump over to the other side and be done with this project. It's okay,
is ready to have the cover put on. Not bad, kind of self-contained. Actually, I just realized that once these two are done, this whole project is done, right? Zowie, that was easy. Oh, those don't go there. it all right holy moly that was good I tell you running that cool hose water on me kind of saved me I was I was getting maxed out there with the heat so visually they don't look really much different than the previous ones uh, it was funny the previous ones were a mixture of two different styles like some of them had been replaced at some point so the lenses weren't identical for all of them, but, and I just kept having trouble with, there were two of them on the back. Two of those three right there were really giving me trouble. And you know, the, the sockets that the bulbs went in were just really worn out and a little bit of corrosion. So they would, they would uh, intermittently work and not work. And so you may have noticed that, uh, my daughter never showed up. <laughs> if she's smart, she found a pool somewhere and she's swimming in it right now. All right, thanks everybody for coming along and watching the video. This was a long overdue, so I'm happy that I finally got those lights finished up. I'm gonna wait until evening tonight and then we're gonna turn on the lights and test them all. So I'll get a little shot, a little video of that so we can make sure that they're all working. And we'll also flip on the LED bar and light the whole truck up, see what it looks like. Till tonight.